Continuing coverage this morning on the mass shooting in Las Vegas, what we're now learning about the shooter and his arsenal of weapons. And Hawaii residents on the Strip described the moments before bullets started flying. We have the stories of the heroes who risked their own lives to save complete strangers. And a good morning to you. It's now Tuesday, October 3rd, and as the grim reality begins to sink in, well, the city of Las Vegas joined countless people around the world in mourning. And part of the Vegas Strip went dark overnight in honor of the victims of Sunday night's horrific attack, the violence being called the deadliest mass shooting in modern U.S. history. At least 59 people are dead, 527 others are injured. With Las Vegas affectionately known as the Ninth Island to Hawaii residents, well, there's no surprise there were others with local ties on the Strip last night. People from Oahu, the Big Island, and Maui in Vegas at the time, and one of them at the concert when bullets started flying. Island News reporter Priscilla Luong spoke to one of the men who says the gunfire sounded like fireworks at first until he saw a stampede of people running for their lives. And the former Hawaii residents say some people waited as long as six to eight hours to donate blood after the shootings. And the gunman, 64-year-old Stephen Paddock, did not have any known criminal history. But when police searched his home, they found 19 firearms and thousands of rounds of ammunition. And they also found 23 guns and semi-automatic rifles in the hotel room where he had been staying. Paddock had been camping out in a room on the 32nd floor of the Mandalay Bay four days before he opened fire. He brought in at least 10 suitcases filled with weapons. Island News spoke with a Kamehameha grad, a valet at Mandalay Bay, who parked Paddock's car but didn't notice anything out of the ordinary. Honolulu police arrested a 64-year-old man on second-degree assault, and HPD says the suspect used a dangerous weapon on the 53-year-old victim. The victim was transported to an area hospital in serious condition. Well, welcome back to Good Morning Hawaii. And this morning, we're sending out our morning shakas to Stevenson Middle School, where students can now enjoy a new computer lab. And it's all thanks to the LA Clippers Foundation. The project included new computers and technology, as well as a new air conditioning unit. A couple of the LA Clippers star players were on hand for that ceremony. And staying at Stevenson Middle School this morning, one teacher a step closer to turning her student's dream into a reality. Stevenson's Trish Morgan is one of 15 finalists for the Dream Big Teachers Challenge. Now the program awards $100,000 grants to five select teachers from across the country and Morgan helps run the school's new science and technology center, but says the program's budget is limited. Now, if awarded the funds, she wants to build an innovative invention imaginaria with the latest technology and tools for students to learn how to develop skills for the 21st century. So they would be able to learn how to use 3D printers, uh, laser cutters, they'd be able to learn how to code and program. This is basically a makerspace, but we want to make it better and bigger. We just want to expand it and take it to the next level, and, and the $100,000 would um, do so much for our kids and our community. The public can vote daily until the end of the month for the winning teacher, and to find out how, just head on over to the As Seen On section of KITV. Com. Well, coming up after the break, Lay will have the latest on your full weather forecast. Also, a check of what's happening outside on the roadways as well.